Hey there, it's Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at concrete and abstract nouns. So first off, we're going to do an overview and we're going to answer three questions. What do nouns do? What kind of nouns are there? Can they be countable or uncountable? Right on, let's get started. So first question, what do nouns do? Nouns name people like Shakespeare, Englishmen, singers. Places like Toronto, countries, lakes. Things like sneeze or dogs, Microsoft, etc. And ideas like aristocracy, democracy, Marxism, clarity. Yeah, I think I got that. Second question. What kind of nouns are there? Proper and common nouns. Proper nouns name specific places, things, and people. They're always capitalized, like Justin Trudeau, Buddhism, or Toronto, etc. Common nouns, instead, identify a single entity and is used to refer to that entity. Common nouns are never capitalized, like kitchen, book, computer, singer, religion, etc. And they are, can be also collective. They describe a collection or a number of people or things, like family, like herd, like orchestra, like team, police, etc. Third question. Can they be countable? Of course, they can be countable or uncountable. So the countable nouns are the common nouns that refer to something specific that can be counted. They can be singular or plural, like cop, car, suggestion, dog, etc. Uncountable nouns are common nouns that refer to people, places, or things. They are nonspecific. They're always singular and do not have a plural form, like advice, pottery, homework, rain, etc. So now let's take a look at concrete and abstract nouns. Yes, you are lost, I'm lost. <laughs> okay, so concrete nouns. They can be perceived by the five senses. The five senses are taste, hearing, sight, smell, and touch. So let's take a look at some examples for each. So for taste, food, sugar, salt. Hearing, alarm, siren, and voice. Sight, garden, path, house. Smell, flower, perfume, gas. Touch, nose, window, smartphone. Now let's take a look at abstract nouns. They name qualities and concepts that do not have physical properties. In order to remember abstract nouns, it's good to review some rules to make nouns. For example, the first one, adjective plus ness. Ness is a, is a suffix. So um, if you put a suffix like ness at the end of an adjective, it becomes a noun. For example, happy plus ness, happiness. So that's an abstract noun. Sad, adjective, plus ness, sadness, that's an abstract noun. Then another abstract noun could be adjective plus ability. So for example, available, that's an adjective. And then if I add ability, availability, that's an abstract noun. Or likable plus ability, Likeability, that's an abstract noun. Naturally, there are others that don't follow this rule, like religion, union, pleasure, crime, life, poverty, and other examples could be love, patience, health, friendship, beauty, and community. So now let's do some practice. Yes, okie dokie. So, concrete or abstract noun? 
countable or uncountable noun. So I will give you the noun and you will tell me if it's concrete or abstract and if it's countable or uncountable. Like for example number one, equipment. Is it concrete or abstract? Is it countable or uncountable? Advice, furniture, sadness, building and landscape. Please pause the video and I will give you the key right after. Now that you have completed this exercise, let's take a look at the key. Equipment is a concrete and uncountable noun, so you cannot say equipments. You can say a piece of equipment. Advice, so is an abstract noun and is uncountable. So you cannot say advices, you have to say a piece of advice. Furniture, the same thing, is uncountable and is concrete. Sadness is an abstract noun and is uncountable. Building is a concrete noun and is countable, so you can say buildings. Landscape is a concrete noun and is countable, so you can say landscapes. Well, all right then. If you have any questions about this lesson or other lessons, please post a question under this video. In the meantime, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the video, hit on the like button, please. If you want to share the video, please do. That's it. Have a nice day and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.